when I was celibate and I and I was even practicing semen retention for an extended period of time, three plus months. And then I was like, okay, I'm good to go. Like I can go back to that. When I finally experienced porn again after not having it for so long, it was so strong and powerful that it scared me. Mm -hmm. It was so, it was like, whoa, that it's, it's a drug that I'd, I'd gotten so accustomed to that I'd become, I'd grown a tolerance to that I was popping it like it was nothing. Mm. And then I, I, through that experience, through the elimination and then the reintroduction, I realized that's something I, I want to be careful with. I want to mm -hmm. watch out for. Um, I, I realized that it had been an unhealthy um, addiction for most of my adult life. And I would say yes, to develop a healthy relationship to sex and recognize that you're actually giving away your life force, your energy, your chi, um, for a quick fix. Um, it, I think you start to hopefully start to recognize that it's an opportunity cost for the place that you can put, put that energy, the, you know, the ways that you can cultivate, create, support your life through channeling that energy somewhere else. Mm. Um, people don't recognize it. I'll be an out and I was like, I have all this life force, all this energy. And I don't even think I flew there on an airplane. I think I flew with my arms. I literally think <laughs> I just levitated and got into Europe and somehow it was kind of like, you know, Star Wars, uh, you know, using the Jedi mind tricks, like, you know, these aren't the drones you're looking for, mm -hmm. but it was like chi power. I was like, I'm I'm gonna just come in, okay? What do you think? Uh, you know, please just let me through the you know, the borders. Mm. And they were just letting me in, and I just slipped in, got there, and was able to do what I needed to do. And I really attribute it to the fact that I I was totally focused. I had no distractions. I didn't. I I had no employees. I had no businesses. I I, I wasn't drinking. I wasn't fucking. I you know was fully clean and clear mm. in who I you know, uh, of what my, I was no leaky energy. And I just use all of that power to accomplish a goal that was, I think to anybody's standards, unsurmountable, mm. but I did it. But when you start to cultivate your own life force and energy and become powerful and strong, you become attractive and, and you start to attract I mean, it's law of attraction, but it's not just, I'm going to imagine what I want and it's going to happen. It's no, you're actually creating an energy, energetic field around you, mm -hmm. which is attractive. Yeah. So, um, it's easy in that you can do it. If you just find the discipline and the courage to give up the immediate gratification for long-term gain. Mm.